So it's the Chase Qualifier next. And it's over the same distance. I mean, same handicap banding. But over the bigger obstacles, of course. So two more six and a half furlongs, 0 to 120. And at the top, it's the Thinker for Martin Leader, who's also got Circuit of Bridge. High Admiral for Paul Rhodes, California Dreaming, Padre Hogan, Sacra Castles, Alex Cherry, Orlando Princess, Vinnie Gerard, Ruby Gallup, Daniel French, Warbird, Paul Rhodes, Delaware City Bell, Vinnie Gerard, and Bright Stuff for Obi Wan. So 10 this time, then. The starters' orders chase qualify, and away they go. And High Admiral was quick away, so to Bright Stuff. That one is probably going to be the one that takes them along, I think. Bright Stuff as they get to the first. Didn't jump it all that quickly, though. And subsequently, California Dreaming got into the lead momentarily. But now Bright Stuff is being driven along by the pilot to get across to the fence and lead and jumps the second much nicely, much more nicely, much more nicely, much better than the, he did the first. And so Bright Stuff is in the lead. Leading by two and a half as they get into the third. Safely over that one, all over the first three. Okay. It's Bright Stuff in front for Obi-Wan as they get over number four. They're all safely over number four. To different colours for people in this race to normal. Uh, it's bright stuff in the lead for Obi Wan. I think Ruby Gallop is, is one of Daniel French's man of many colours, silks. And California Dreaming on the inside for Padre Hogan in the yellow and black. In the crimson with a yellow cap of the Thinker for Martin Leadham. Then Sacra Castles in the orange sleeves for Alex Cherry. And then High Admiral. In the blue with the checkered sleeves for Paul Rhodes. And next to that one, Vinnie Gerrard's two. Got one just in front. That's Orlando Princess just in front and to the right as they get over the next. And then one just behind. That's Delaware City Belt. And the second one of the Martin Leader horses is Circuit of Bridge in the Crimson with a yellow cap. And then the back marker is Warbird. And I'm pretty sure that's Paul Rhodes again in some different colours as they get over number eight a uh, mistake there at the back by circular bridge but the rest of them over there can they're getting quite well strung out and bright stuff is six lengths clear of the first of the greys ruby gallop as they get over that one good jump by california dreaming on the inside then let's take that one back into second place as they come up past their stands they're going to go past the wooden post shortly and then they'll go out for a complete circuit of the track and it's bright stuff who's in the lead we will be hoping to be in the same position next time round California Dreaming is second and then High Admiral is third then Sacra Castles and Ruby Gallop and then the Thinker on the inside and Orlando Princess on the outside has had a gap of about three lengths to the back three Circuit and Bridge and Delaware City Bell together with Warbird just tucked in behind Bright stuff. He's in front, racing downhill, racing through the raindrops in the lead. Why about four lengths to California Dreaming in second, High Admiral third, Sacra Cattles four. Then a line of three of them. With Ruby Gallup, the Thinker, and Orlando Princess. And then a gap to the back three. Well, still Circuit of Bridge, Delaware City Bell, and the Grey Warbird. Over number 10 they go. Mistake there by the Thinker. I've seen that one drop into the back group but it's bright stuff in front from California Dreaming in second High Admiral looks to be going well as they take the 11th and another mistake at the back there by the Thinker has seen that one drop back to last so maybe the Thinker ought to start thinking about his jumping but it's bright stuff in front California Dreaming second as they get over that next one and that time it's California Dreaming that made the really bad mistake and that means it's surrendered second place to High Admiral but Bright Stuff continues to lead over this ditch slow jump that time by High Admiral and it's Bright Stuff on the inside of California Dreaming High Admiral is between the two the six furlongs to go that's the 14th fence they've got four more to take and it's California Dreaming who's got into the lead from High Admiral second, Bright Stuff is third, then comes Sacra Castles and Ruby Gallop and there's a big gap back to Warbird, Orlando Princess and Circular Bridge City, Delaware City Bell and the Thinker. Then it's California Dreaming with four to go, 
in the lead over the fourth last that's a ditch and all safely over that one then with California Dreaming in front now being pressed by Ruby Gallup Bright Stuff has dropped back into third and suddenly this Ruby Gallup's gone for home I think with three to jump over to third last good jump by Ruby Gallup gone three clear it's Ruby Gallup in the lead from California Dreaming and Bright Stuff then comes Sacra Castles and High Admiral Circular Bridge is running on well but a lot of ground to make up as they race towards the final two fences Ruby Gallup's over the second last and he's five clear difficult to see this Ruby Gallup being beaten now California Bridge is trying to close but they're coming towards the final fence and it's Ruby Gallup in the lead California Dreaming there is eating up the ground but it's Ruby Gallup still in front California Dream is getting closer there's still a furlong to go Ruby Gallup's in the lead California Dreaming is closing but not very quickly it's Ruby Gallup in front still half a furlong to go jockey's looking the wrong way it's Ruby Gallup in the lead here comes California Dreaming Ruby Gallup's holding on and Ruby Gallup I think he's got a hold on and take it Ruby Gallup wins it California Dreaming second circular bridge run on well to be third then Orlando Princess and Sacra Castles and all the way back to Wilbur's and the leading pair really decimated the field there they left them well strung out they went for home and they quickly put a lot of distance between themselves and the rest of them and Ruby Gallop despite the jockey looking the wrong way for dangers hold on to take it from California Dreaming so Ruby Gallop for Daniel French the winner California Dreaming for Padre Hogan was second Circular Bridge Martin Lidham third Sacra Castles Alex Cherry was fourth and Orlando Princess for Vinnie Gerard was fifth that's me done for the week over the obstacles and I'll let Leon take you through the rest of the week with the Honda Chases